Generalized Linear Model, Wikipedia Audio In statistics, the generalized linear model is a flexible generalization of ordinary linear regression that allows for response variables that have error distribution models other than a normal distribution. The GLM generalizes linear regression by allowing the linear model to be related to the response variable via a link function and by allowing the magnitude of the variance of each measurement to be a function of its predicted value. Generalized linear models were formulated by John Nelder and Robert Wedderburn as a way of unifying various other statistical models including linear regression, logistic regression, and Poisson regression. They proposed an iteratively reweighted least squares method for maximum likelihood estimation of the model parameters. Maximum likelihood estimation remains popular and is the default method on many statistical computing packages. Other approaches including Bayesian approaches and least squares fits to variance stabilized responses, have been developed. Ordinary linear regression predicts the expected value of a given unknown quantity as a linear combination of a set of observed values. This implies that a constant change in a predictor leads to a constant change in the response variable. This is appropriate when the response variable has a normal distribution. Intuition However, these assumptions are inappropriate for some types of response variables. For example, in cases where the response variable is expected to be always positive and varying over a wide range, constant input changes lead to geometrically varying, rather than constantly varying output changes. As an example, a prediction model might predict that 10 degree temperature decrease would lead to 1,000 fewer people visiting the beach is unlikely to generalize well over both small beaches and large beaches. The problem with this kind of prediction model would imply a temperature drop of 10 degrees would lead to 1,000 fewer people visiting the beach. A beach whose expected attendance was 50 at a higher temperature would now be predicted to have the impossible attendance value of 950. Logically, a more realistic model would instead predict a constant rate of increased beach attendance. Such a model is termed an exponential response model. Similarly, a model that predicts a probability of making a yes-slash-no choice is even less suitable as a linear response model, since probabilities are bounded on both ends. Imagine, for example, a model that predicts the likelihood of a given person going to the beach as a function of temperature. A reasonable model might predict, for example, that a change in 10 degrees makes a person two times more or less likely to go to the beach. But what does twice as likely mean in terms of a probability? It cannot literally mean to double the probability value. Rather, it is the odds that are doubling, from 2 colon 1 odds, to 4 colon 1 odds, to 8 colon 1 odds, etc. Such a model is a log odds or logistic model. Generalized estimating equations allow for the correlation between observations without the use of an explicit probability model for the origin of the correlations, so there is no explicit likelihood. They are suitable when the random effects and their variances are not of inherent interest, as they allow for the correlation without explaining its origin. The focus is on estimating the average response over the population rather than the regression parameters that would enable prediction of the effect of changing one or more components of X on a given individual. Gs are usually used in conjunction with Huber-White standard errors. Generalized linear mixed models are an extension to GLMs that includes random effects in the linear predictor giving an explicit probability model that explains the origin of the correlations. 
the resulting subject-specific parameter estimates are suitable when the focus is on estimating the effect of changing one or more components of X on a given individual. GLMMs are also referred to as multilevel models and as mixed model. In general, fitting GLMMs is more computationally complex and intensive than fitting Gs. Generalized linear models cover all these situations by allowing for response variables that have arbitrary distributions, and for an arbitrary function of the response variable to vary linearly with the predicted values. For example, the case above of predicted number of beach attendees would typically be modeled with a Poisson distribution in a log link while the case of predicted probability of beach attendance would typically be modeled with a Bernoulli distribution in a log odds link function. In a generalized linear model, each outcome y of the dependent variables is assumed to be generated from a particular distribution in the exponential family, a large range of probability distributions that includes the normal, binomial, Poisson and gamma distributions, among others. The mean, mu, of the distribution depends on the independent variables, x, through. Where e is the expected value of y, x beta is the linear predictor, a linear combination of unknown parameters beta, g is the link function. In this framework, the variance is typically a function, v, of the mean. It is convenient if V follows from the exponential family distribution, but it may simply be that the variance is a function of the predicted value. The unknown parameters, beta, are typically estimated with maximum likelihood, maximum quasi-likelihood, or Bayesian techniques. The GLM consists of three elements. Overview the overdispersed exponential family of distributions is a generalization of the exponential family and exponential dispersion model of distributions and includes those probability distributions, parameterized by, theta, and, tau, whose density functions f can be expressed in the form. Tau, called the dispersion parameter typically is known and is usually related to the variance of the distribution. The functions, h, y, tau, b, theta, t, y, a, theta, and, d, tau, are known. Many common distributions are in this family, including the normal, exponential, gamma, Poisson, Bernoulli, and binomial, multinomial, and negative binomial. For scalar, y, and, theta, this reduces to theta, is related to the mean of the distribution. If, b, theta, is the identity function, then the distribution is said to be in canonical form. Note that any distribution can be converted to canonical form by rewriting theta as theta and then applying the transformation theta equals b theta equals backslash math. It is always possible to convert a theta in terms of the new parametrization, even if b theta is not a one-to-one -one function, see comments in the page on the exponential family. If, in addition, t, y, is the identity and, tau, is known, then, theta, is called the canonical parameter and is related to the mean through. For scalar, y, and, theta, this reduces to. Under this scenario, the variance of the distribution can be shown to be for scalar y and theta this reduces to model components probability distribution 
The linear predictor is the quantity which incorporates the information about the independent variables into the model. The symbol eta denotes a linear predictor. It is related to the expected value of the data through the link function. Linear predictor Link function Fitting Maximum likelihood Bayesian methods Eta is expressed as linear combinations of unknown parameters beta. The coefficients of the linear combination are represented as the matrix of independent variables x eta can thus be expressed as. The link function provides the relationship between the linear predictor and the mean of the distribution function. There are many commonly used link functions, and their choice is informed by several considerations. There is always a well-defined canonical link function which is derived from the exponential of the response's density function. However, in some cases it makes sense to try to match the domain of the link function to the range of the distribution function's mean, or use a non-canonical link function for algorithmic purposes, for example Bayesian probit regression. When using a distribution function with a canonical parameter, theta, the canonical link function is the function that expresses, theta, in terms of, mu, i.e., theta, equals, b, mu. For the most common distributions, the mean, mu, is one of the parameters in the standard form of the distribution's density function, and then, b, mu, is the function as defined above that maps the density function into its canonical form. When using the canonical link function, b, mu, equals, theta, equals, x, beta, which allows, x, t, y, backslash math, to be a sufficient statistic for, beta. Examples Following is a table of several exponential family distributions in common use and the data they are typically used for, along with the canonical link functions and their inverses. In the cases of the exponential and gamma distributions, the domain of the canonical link function is not the same as the permitted range of the mean. In particular, the linear predictor may be negative which would give an impossible negative mean. When maximizing the likelihood, precautions must be taken to avoid this. An alternative is to use a non-canonical link function. Note also that in the case of the Bernoulli, binomial, categorical and multinomial distributions, the support of the distributions is not the same type of data as the parameter being predicted. In all of these cases, the predicted parameter is one or more probabilities, i.e. real numbers in the range, 0, 1. The resulting model is known as logistic regression. For the Bernoulli and binomial distributions, the parameter is a single probability, indicating the likelihood of occurrence of a single event. The Bernoulli still satisfies the basic condition of the generalized linear model in that, even though a single outcome will always be either 0 or 1, the expected value will nonetheless be a real valued probability, i.e. the probability of occurrence of a yes outcome. Similarly, in a binomial distribution, the expected value is NP i.e. the expected proportion of yes outcomes will be the probability to be predicted. For categorical and multinomial distributions, the parameter to be predicted is a k-vector of probabilities, with the further restriction that all probabilities must add up to 1. Each probability indicates the likelihood of occurrence of one of the k-possible values. For the multinomial distribution, and for the vector form of the categorical distribution, the expected values of the elements of the vector can be related to the predicted probabilities similarly to the binomial and Bernoulli distributions. 
The maximum likelihood estimates can be found using an iteratively reweighted least squares algorithm or a Newton Rafe Sun method with updates of the form. Where, J, beta, T, is the observed information matrix and, U, beta, T, is the score function, or a Fisher's scoring method. General linear models. Where, I, beta, T, is the Fisher information matrix. Note that if the canonical link function is used, then they are the same. In general, the posterior distribution cannot be found in closed form and so must be approximated, usually using Laplace approximations or some type of Markov chain Monte Carlo method such as Gibbs sampling. Linear regression A possible point of confusion has to do with the distinction between generalized linear models and the general linear model, two broad statistical models. The general linear model may be viewed as a special case of the generalized linear model with identity link and responses normally distributed. As most exact results of interest are obtained only for the general linear model, the general linear model has undergone a somewhat longer historical development. Results for the generalized linear model with non-identity link are asymptotic. A simple, very important example of a generalized linear model is linear regression. In linear regression, the use of the least squares estimator is justified by the Gauss-Markov theorem which does not assume that the distribution is normal. Binary data Logit link function Probit link function as popular choice of inverse cumulative distribution function. From the perspective of generalized linear models, however, it is useful to suppose that the distribution function is the normal distribution with constant variance and the link function is the identity, which is the canonical link if the variance is known. For the normal distribution, the generalized linear model has a closed form expression for the maximum likelihood estimates, which is convenient. Most other GLMs lack closed form estimates. When the response data, y, are binary, the distribution function is generally chosen to be the Bernoulli distribution and the interpretation of mu i is then the probability, p, of y i taking on the value 1. There are several popular link functions for binomial functions. The most typical link function is the canonical logit link. GLMs with this setup are logistic regression models. Alternatively, the inverse of any continuous cumulative distribution function can be used for the link since the CDF's range is 0, 1, the range of the binomial mean. The normal CDF, phi, is a popular choice and yields the probit model. Its link is the reason for the use of the probit model is that a constant scaling of the input variable to a normal CDF yields a function that is practically identical to the logit function, but probit models are more tractable in some situations than logit models. The complementary log-log function may also be used. This link function is asymmetric and will often produce different results from the logit and probit link functions. The clog loop model corresponds to applications where we observe either zero events or one or more, where the number of events is assumed to follow the Poisson distribution. The Poisson assumption means that where mu is a positive number denoting the inverse of the expected number of events, if P represents the proportion of observations with at least one event, its complement. And then, a linear model requires the response variable to take values over the entire real line. Since mu must be positive, we can enforce that by taking the logarithm, 
and letting log be a linear model. This produces the clog loop transformation. The identity link G equals P is also sometimes used for binomial data to yield a linear probability model. However, the identity link can predict nonsense probabilities less than zero or greater than one. This can be avoided by using a transformation like Cloglug, Probit, or Logit. A primary merit of the identity link is that it can be estimated using linear math and other standard link functions are approximately linear matching the identity link near P equals 0.5. The variance function for quasi-binomial data is where the dispersion parameter tau is exactly one for the binomial distribution. Indeed, the standard binomial likelihood omits tau. When it is present, the model is called quasi-binomial, and the modified likelihood is called a quasi-likelihood since it is not generally the likelihood corresponding to any real probability distribution. If tau exceeds 1, the model is said to exhibit over-dispersion. The binomial case may be easily extended to allow for a multinomial distribution as the response. There are two ways in which this is usually done. If the response variable is an ordinal measurement, then one may fit a model function of the form. For M2, different links G lead to proportional odds models or ordered probit models. If the response variable is a nominal measurement, or the data do not satisfy the assumptions of an ordered model, one may fit a model of the following form. For M2, Different links G lead to multinomial logit or multinomial probit models. These are more general than the ordered response models, and more parameters are estimated. Another example of generalized linear models includes Poisson regression which models count data using the Poisson distribution. The link is typically the logarithm, the canonical link. The variance function is proportional to the mean. Where the dispersion parameter tau is typically fixed at exactly 1. When it is not, the resulting quasi-likelihood model is often described as Poisson with over-dispersion or quasi-Poisson. The standard GLM assumes that the observations are uncorrelated. Extensions have been developed to allow for correlation between observations, as occurs for example in longitudinal studies and clustered designs. Generalized additive models are another extension to GLMs in which the linear predictor eta is not restricted to be linear in the covariates x but is the sum of smoothing functions applied to the xis. The smoothing functions fi are estimated from the data. In general this requires a large number of data points and is computationally intensive. The term generalized linear model, and especially its abbreviation GLM, are sometimes confused with general linear model. CO originator John Nelder has expressed regret over this terminology. Complementary log log Identity link Variance function Multinomial regression Ordered response Unordered response Count data Extensions Correlated or clustered data Generalized additive models Confusion with general linear models Notes